Devon, my home, known for its cows, green teas and Dartmoor ponies. But for me, it's been more than that. It's been a playground full of beauty and natural wonders. This summer, the year of 2013, I, Dale Grant, set out to find the secrets of my home in the meadows, the rivers, the sea and surrounding islands. And this is my journey. Lundy is an island a short ferry journey away from the North Devon coast. It lies where the Atlantic Ocean and the Bristol Channel meet. The 3.5 mile long granite outcrop stands alone, unspoiled, with nothing between it and the Americas. It's a place of special scientific interest due to its lush protected seas and unique geology. It's home to an amazing array of wildlife. Here, off the 400 foot granite cliffs, many birds have come for the spring and summer to mate. Guillemots, kittiwakes, puffins, Manx shearwaters and many more make this island their home. All is calm on the cliffs. The local peregrine is busy protecting its own young. Or so it seems calm. Some of the local black back gulls have gotten a taste for eggs, and they have young of their own to feed as well. Black backs will eat anything they can swallow. They will use their size, sharp beaks to do the job, attacking anything smaller than them. But this time, luck and fighting back has left the black backs unable to get a meal they will be back. Lundy is truly a place where I could just sit and observe nature's chaotic beauty. I craved jumping into the ocean with the baby faced seals, but the ocean would not allow it. My day soon came to an end on Lundy, and when I got home, I set my eyes on the sea, borrowed an old girl's wetsuit, and started exploring the depths. Little did I know it would become a full-time immersive hobby. Exploring and seeing how rich the sea is around Devon really opened my eyes. It is a world that not many of us have seen in person and because of this we can't see how much it needs protecting. I kept diving and bought a lot of kit till finally I was treated with this encounter Say the boy lads with the curious eyes mm -mm. and to our surprise <laughs> they After exploring the sea, I wanted to explore the rivers as well. And they were flourishing too. They were just amazing places to just sit and relax. The busy mating season for many has started and is in full swing. All those extra mouths to feed have become a full-time job for many parents. The dipper named for their bobbing or dipping movements are unique and known for their ability to dive and swim. This dipper has spent all day catching larvae and freshwater shrimp for its young. Just from observing the species on the river you can see many niches and roles have been fulfilled by wildlife. And the one animal that took my interest after seeing this was the kingfisher. Hey guys, well uh, I'm up to my knees here, built this perch, 
There's loads of fish here. Hopefully the kingfisher see this new perch. Get, get on that perch and get these fish that are in the water. There's lots of small fish right in between my toes. It's quite amazing actually. I need to get some on camera for you. At the minute a lot of our rivers are at risk um, because of pollution and many other environmental factors that we cause. But luckily this is a very healthy river in Devon. You see when you have a healthy river like this you can support a kingfisher every mile or so which is the range of their territory. It's very good. They, they might not even have to leave for the, the winter which is incredibly good. Yeah, all these all the, these little fish at the bottom of the food chain make a big difference for all the larger animals and higher up, especially things like kingfishers and dippers. My custom perch never worked. I sat for hours on many occasions. So I learnt which natural perches were used and set my eyes on making a hunting sequence. I tried and tried, spending days which I could have been spending on the beach. I had a lot of close encounters, but I never truly captured the magic on camera. I got this failed hunting attempt. But one day I was sat at the end of my tether, then this happened. What an amazing success. I turned you my back because a miracle was coming my way. The peace and tranquility of the rising sun in a beautiful Devonshire meadow is my idea of bliss and it is for many other species too. This badger is making the most out of people being in bed. The long summer days have taken away his ability to feed in peace in the shadows. He has even resorted to staying up late. The sun has fully risen and he is still out. It must be the hard summer affecting the soil and his supply of worms. Let's hope things improve. I filmed the badgers on many occasions. It was worth dragging myself out of bed for. And it was made even better when this happened. Hey guys, well I'm at uh, one of my badger sets. And it's, uh, it's about five o'clock in the morning. And um, I've just been uh, chilling looking. and. Uh, Got two foxes running through the fields. It was absolutely amazing, and uh, got them in dark light and then in really good light. It's just a absolutely amazing experience. The fox is a very misunderstood creature that has suffered for many years because of this. Due to this persecution, country foxes are incredibly secretive. So this encounter was an amazing privilege. It has made all those hours sat in the bushes feel like a second. The foxes eventually wandered off, but one came back for an encore once the sun had risen. There is a feeling I only get when spending time with a wild animal that takes my breath away. This beautiful creature, along with the other animals in this film, let me into their worlds and accepted and were comfortable with the fact I was there. This fox was more bothered about the rustling around us than me sat like a plunker in the middle of the field. That feeling, that opening of the eyes and that understanding really makes you feel one with the world and hope one day you can feel it too. I've been putting footsteps on the ground of the locations in this film since I was a toddler and I've always been blind till now. 
the experiences and discoveries I have made in this film have brought me to a whole new light into the place I've lived for all my life. Thank mm -hmm. you.